you can do is you can go to one of the sources and it's called apple apple repo dot uh, com apple repo dot com and what it'll do is it'll give you all the iphone accessories that you need in here so to add a source you just go to you go to sources click on edit add and type in apple repo dot com hit ok it'll add it to the sources it'll refresh it'll gather all the um, all the information it requires click on done click refresh again just to make sure what I recommend doing too is once you're done this is to exit out go back into the installer and if you click on install you'll see where it says one iPhone 111 apps for the iTouch and here's all your here's all your iPhone applications so you don't have to upgrade to 112 uh, 111 and 112 are essentially the exact same thing and here's all your your iPhone applications next step to upgrade back to 112 okay so now we're going to update our system to 112 as you can see the software version is saying 111 and the iTouch as I've already shown you also shows that we're running software version 111 under general about and you can see there 111 so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to restore it to so we're going to update it don't click restore we're going to update it to 112 shift uh, shift uh, update key where it says iPod 112 click on that it's one you would have downloaded from jailbreakitouch.com click open and it's going to go through its process as what it normally did with 111. Please note that once you're once it's done updating it to 112, the installer key that's here will be removed. But once we go to jailbreak 112, now that installer will come back.
Okay, once again, you see that it's rebooting. It's going to tell you that it's, uh, it's rebooting again, just like it did for 111. We can just click OK. And as you can see now, it is back to the charging screen. You can see the settings are gone, but if you click on, apologize for that, if you click on settings, click on general, about, and you'll see that we are 112 now. This may come up. What you're going to do is you're going to click do not ask again and cancel. It'll sync in progress, there's nothing going on there, and essentially we are good to go here. Next step is to jailbreak 112. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jailbreak the iTouch for firmware 1.112. So just make sure that you have nothing in your task manager that's related to the, uh, to the iTunes. Um, you may see iPod device. Uh, you should shut that off also. Sometimes if you shut that off, you won't recognize your I touch me to do this. If that's the case, just uh, re-enable it again. Go to your, your jailbreak folder. Open up the windows.bat. If you're a Mac, you're going to run the jailbreak.jar. Make sure you install SSH, the root password, keep it as Alpine, and click on jailbreak. As you can see now, it is uploading the SSH files. It's going to do, it's going to do this process. It takes a, a few minutes, like everything else, but we just let it do its thing. Once this is done, uploading all the, uh, once it's done reading the flash images and patching everything, it may reboot several times. Let it do its thing, and uh, whatever you do, do not unplug it until it's completely, until it's completely uh, rebooted. As mentioned, when this is going on, uh, when you shut off all the all the processes, uh, if you run this for the first time, sometimes it may indicate that it can't find the iPhone or the or the iTouch. All you need to do is just just close on the DOS screen, hit OK, unplug the iTouch from the computer, just plug it back in, and let it connect, and then run the jailbreaking process again. Just make sure everything, because once you shut everything down within the processes, there won't be anything iTunes related or iTouch related, but as soon as you plug the iTouch back in, it, get rec it gets recognized again, and then you can jailbreak it, uh, as we're doing here with the, with the Windows.bat or the jailbreak.jar. And once this is complete, what I'll do is I will install the iPhone apps so you can see that they work. And I'll show you how to do that.